Cristiano Ronaldo has been through in the last week, Paul. You once refused to play for Manchester United in the early stages of your career, so very different to the Ronaldo situation. But for you, was it a heat of the moment decision? Yeah, you know what? It's difficult at the time, at the time to to explain your emotions. Um, unfortunately, this week or so, it's been mentioned a few times what I did, and it's a it's a low point in my career. It's something I look back on. I, I really regret it. It was so wrong to do, but I do sympathise with Cristiano. Although we we know, as Owen said, he, he did the wrong thing, but I think my situation. I, we was playing Liverpool on the Sunday. And we had a game in the League Cup on the Monday night against Arsenal, which was unheard of. And it was more like a reserve team game on the Monday night. And I was left out of the the Sunday game against Liverpool. And I was I was upset about it. I, was, I wasn't very happy about it. Um, and usually when I got left out, I, I understood I wasn't one to complain. But that particular day, I can't remember why, but I was just so upset I wasn't playing. I wanted to be a part of it. And then as the game goes on, you, know, you see that the team's not playing well. I think we went 2-0 down. And you're thinking at half time, right, he's going to bring me on now. Um, he, he, the manager didn't bring me on, so you're still you, you're getting even worse. It's, it's in your head. You think, well, what's wrong? Why is he not bringing him on? You get to an hour, he's still not, still not bringing you on. And, and you just, your head goes. You, your head completely goes. And I can understand that's probably the same thing that happened to Cristiano. He's had that, a similar way of thinking where he's been left out of a game. At, Tottenham, a, a, a biggish game, who've, you know, they've been doing well. Remember that the year before he scored a trick against them? So we'll be raging, the game's going on. He's still not coming on. He's seen the team miss a lot of chances, although the team are playing very well. And he'll be thinking, I can come on in this game. I, I, I can score goals, I can get a trick. I, I can score three or four goals against this team easily. And as long as, the longer the game goes on, the more upset you get, the more the red mist comes over you. And you, you you know, you're not you're not thinking properly. You're not thinking straight. And with him to come to ask him to come on with two, three minutes left, what, what, whatever it may be, Cristiano will think, is he taking the mickey out of me? No, I'd, I'd probably use another word, but I, I can't obviously on TV. Thanks, for <laughs> yeah. we appreciate that. So it, it, it'll be raging. Look, look, what he did was wrong, but it, because he's waited so long, because he thinks, even at 37 years of age, he thinks he should be playing every single game. And some players just can't accept being left out. He cannot be, accept being left out. So the longer that game went on, the more and more furious Scholes, he you, is getting. Do you know what? I think the World Cup plays a huge part in all this. You know, he's 37. He's, the, he's one of the, the main people at that World Cup. And he wants to be fit and play. He's not playing. He's not going to be sharp. You know, this could be his last World Cup. So I think that had an impact on his, his emotions that, you know, he's probably not, he doesn't think he'll probably be sharp and fit for for such an important moment in his career. I know it doesn't excuse the fact that he didn't want to play, but you try and give a bit of context to it. For players that have been there and felt those emotions and stuff, there's a lot more layers to it than, than you see. I, I think the manager has to show a bit of common sense as well. Because you know, you're looking back at an experienced player, you're looking back at your bench, and you're asking them to go on with two minutes to go. In a game that's won, it's, it, no, it, it's finished. You can understand Cristiano being in sense. And I, I've heard a lot, a lot of people saying, Sir Alex, you know, he'd have gone crazy, he'd have gone mad if, 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 this, would have, if this would have happened. I don't think he, he would have ever done that. I think two minutes to go, in a game that's won, a game that's comfortable, you bring a young kid on, you, know, you bring a young player on, you give him his debut or, do you know what I mean? You're just a young kid to run about. I think it's disrespectful towards Cristiano. But it's difficult to say it's dis dis disrespectful because it's the manager's job. You know, he's, he's got every right to ask him to come on, to ask anybody to come on. But I think, you know, with what's happened with Cristiano, I think it's quite clear um, that he isn't in his plans as well. He, he doesn't see him uh, as part of his team in, in the big games, in the league games, in, in the big European games when it comes to late in the competition. He sees him. More, more of a sub, as a substitute, and as I say, Cristiano, he's got that stature about him. Thirty-seven year old doesn't matter. He thinks he can play every single week and contributes this team every single week. But I don't think the manager sees it that way.